few days back, I made a video about this fully funded in Manitoba and from this video, uh, this video has gotten a lot of view and most of you guys are actually asking how can you apply, how can you apply. I keep getting email on how you can actually apply. So in today's video, I'm here to guide you on what are the necessary things you need to know and how you can easily apply to this University of Manitoba and if you must get the fully funded scholarship. Okay, so I want you to stick around because I will be guiding you on everything on the uh, University of Manitoba website, right? Okay, and I'm going to be making some clarification for you right on this channel today okay when i make a video for you on this channel i always tell you that the link is at the description of the video okay the link i put at the description of the video is a link to my website where i now put the official link to any website okay the reason i'm doing this is that so that you can keep track of all the links in any video okay so that you don't uh, so that you don't have to be juggling around looking for links okay so sometimes when you click the link you might forgot that uh, this is the link you're actually looking for but when I create a post like this you can know that okay when I'm going for University of Manitoba then I need to scroll down when you scroll down you are going to see the session where I uh, added the official link right okay so you are going to see it here so any of my video the link you will find here is the link to my website and under my website page you are going to see official link so most of you that are new on this channel because someone was actually saying that uh, the link is not there they can't find it okay so that is the first part now when you click on the official link right here this is where we now begin the process and if you actually watch uh, the previous video then you will know where I click right so when you click on that official link it will bring you to this page this is the page I actually show you in the scholarship uh, video and if you watch that video then you must understand everything from this page okay and uh, this session is majorly for this section is majorly for the undergraduates as you see it is in front of the undergraduate study and if you scroll down this is graduate study so anything you want to do about graduate study you want to uh, look at it here and if you are going for your extended education then you want to look at it right here okay so please don't miss that up if you find any link at the description of the video make sure you come down to the bottom and search for the official link right thank you now we are going to be uh, making use of one of these instance for this application okay so under the undergrad undergraduate study we have the program list how to apply admission requirements tuition and fee attend an online information session I always tell you if you must get an offer in any school or you must get a scholarship or you must get a fee waived out you must try to attend their online information session or the uh, webinar okay webinar or online information session is the same thing okay so maybe I'm going to be dropping uh, the video I recorded from the NBC one of the NBC uh, online information session that's one of their webinar so that uh, because they answer a lot of questions and I personally I attended the webinar and I asked a lot of questions which they gave answer to it okay now if you click on program list this is where you go and check the list of program okay remember we are doing this video regarding the scholarship that I posted some days back okay so please watch this video to the very end and uh, you are going to be getting better understanding about this okay so first I will come to this page where it says undergraduate uh, admission requirements okay when you come to this page there are some information that you need to know there are some documents you need to provide when you are applying for a program and you must meet the requirements that this school is putting out on their school portal if you must get admitted into the school please note admission is not a magic 
if you are not filing your application very well then there's no way you are going to be getting your ad, uh, admission offer with any school this is why i always say that when i make a video on this channel always do your own research as well okay now if you must apply to this school you need to understand that you need a proficiency uh letter or if you are coming from a, uh, a country where the language of instruction is not english you need to write your i8 and if you are coming from a french speaking environment then you need your uh, international baccalaureate okay so we are going to be looking at all of this right now if you scroll down a little bit you are going to see this section where it says international high school students this is where you want to click on this plus icon right now when you click on that you scroll down a little bit then you will see you need to demonstrate your language proficiency okay this is not a magic you must demonstrate your language proficiency okay so if you are coming from a country where your language of instruction is english like nigeria then you don't need to uh, bother about that and if you also look at this session you're going to see that you need to provide your international baccalaureate like i said earlier okay so anywhere you see international student information then this is where you need to look out for okay so here it actually says international high school student because we are looking at the uh, undergraduate program right so if you are looking at the uh, graduate program which is the master program then uh, you have to uh, have other information okay so i'm going to be using this just as a case study then uh, you know where to click to get the information now if you come right here now when i click on international admission requirements you see here again that it says that to study at the university of manitoba you must meet the following three general admission requirements okay which is the first one is that you must demonstrate your uh, language proficiency if you are using your work this will stand in for you so you don't need to bother about that okay and if you are using other uh requirements from any other country you don't need to uh stress yourself because the information you needed is already here so if you are coming from africa asia europe middle east oceanic south america so uh as per an african so i'm going to be looking at this you see here now that if you are coming from botswana this is what you actually need and if you are coming from ghana you need your west side okay if you are coming from egypt these are things uh, if you are coming from Cameroon, you see, you need your uh, diploma, uh, your uh, international baccalaureate diploma, okay? Also, Burkina Faso, and most of those uh, uh, countries that speak French, right? So, you need your baccalaureate, okay? So, and if you are coming from Mali, I think Mali too speak French. And if you are coming from Nigeria, you can see it here, your senior school certificate issued by the west africa examination council which is wahek okay if you are coming from senegal if you are coming from south africa if you are coming from ghana i think we've seen ghana right if you are coming from any of these african country these are the results that you can use to apply to uh this school right now so if i close that down then i go to asia Bangladesh, Cambodia, China, all of these countries, these are the information you needed, okay? So, I think one of the major things that uh, people find difficult to do is making of research, okay? And probably if you are going for your master program, you need to do a lot of research because most of these master programs are research-based. If you want to complete your application at this school, this will cost you just 30 minutes okay so once you have all your documents ready then if you must apply to this university right now then you must make sure that you have all your documents ready so here it says what type of applicant are you how to apply this is the admission requirement now so you must make sure you go through all of this i can't start reading everything on this video 
or in this video okay so make sure you do justice to all of these things yourself so that you can have better understanding of what you actually need to also do as well okay so these are these are the things that is important right okay so if you scroll down you're going to see uh okay no not this page this this particular page mm -hmm. so you find all the information you actually need then let's go to the next one okay so uh, there's a place i found i found something international high school student if you are an international uh 24 credits demonstrates no 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 there's something i'm actually looking at okay so sorry international student yes this is it here. international students so as an international student you need to make sure you check all the required documents that is required for you to submit your application okay so this is what i was actually looking out for it said if you've gathered required material the online application will take about 30 minutes to complete which means you can complete your application in 30 minutes right now let's look at how you can apply note that if you must get admitted to any schools you must make sure you file your admission application correctly okay and if you are not looking at the application requirements there's no way you will be able to file your application correctly now we know that university of manitoba is very very expensive and if you don't watch this video to the very end you might not understand everything you need to know or you need to do because it is important that you pay attention to every part of this video to get better understanding about how you can apply to this school and how you can eventually get or not get a scholarship okay because you don't have to apply for the scholarship it is awarded to you right and there are also some other things i will be giving you in this video or maybe before we end the video session right okay so here it says get ready to begin your application for undergraduate study first thing is that you need to review the requirements this is what i always lay emphasis on every time i'm making this video or uh anytime i'm making video on this channel right okay so once you make sure you have every information you need okay now it says depending on your background and study uh you may also need to provide first you need to provide your basic information which have your name your date of birth all of those information details of your current or your previous uh, education including uh when you started and when you ended the program also depending on the type of program you are applying to you might need to supply your transcript you might need to supply your proof of english proficiency you might also need to provide a personal statement about your goal for the program okay uh i was speaking with uh, glory yesterday glory if you are watching this then you should understand what i'm talking about right now when i was talking about the personal statement about why you are choosing that program right okay you also need uh, a portfolio of your previous work you need an audition or interview then you need a reference contact information okay please always make sure that you provide correct information while you are filing your application for anything okay now once you have all of this ready then the next thing you want to do right now is to start your application immediately here you need to understand that first there are some documents you need to upload before you submit your application and if you don't submit those uh documents maybe when you submitted your application you can still submit them either through uh by sending email by sending those documents through email and attaching all your information but most time i will advise that when you are submitting an application you should always make sure you submit all your documents before submitting except in a scenario whereby the school does not allow you to attach your document before 
you submit that application okay when you start your application you need to know that the application is split into different sections and asks you for your personal information post secondary so uh, this like section by section education background personal information all of those things okay so we are not going to be starting the application yet I want us to look at some of other information that we have here please when you are filing your application do not lie do not lie because here they said avoid application fraud or miscon uh, misconduct okay if you are providing a wrong information then the school will not consider you for admission failure to declare attendance at another post-secondary school institution presenting first feed academic documentation or coursing presenting so all of this you need to run away from it and if you are submitting any of this test score make sure you are the one that writes this test score don't use someone else's test score to apply okay so those that's majorly what they are trying to say there so i don't want us to start reading again right now note that if you must apply to the university of manitoba then you need to pay 120 dollar as an application fee as an international student okay so most people were asking me when i want to apply there's an application fee there's an application fee okay so you must get it uh you must get this information right i expected that people should go to the website and go and make more research but when i see that the comments is uh coming from a lot of people it means people are not making the research they need to uh do right this is why i'm making this video again today now if you must apply for a program not a scholarship okay if you must apply for a program in the university of manitoba you need to pay the fee of 120 canadian dollar so in your own country you need to do the exchange rate and know how much this will cost you right now okay and if you do this it is a non-refundable application fee please consider doing your own research before you start the application it is a non-refundable application fee okay please take note of that the money is not easy to find so don't waste it anyhow okay here it says you are responsible for ensuring that all required documentation and fee are submitted in time to meet the application deadline what they are telling you here is that they are not uh they are not the one to be blamed if you pay your application fee and you did not submit all the required documents from you okay so this is why i always lay emphasis always make your own research check the program requirements most of you you know me that when you send me email i always respond only if i don't see it i will not respond to that email okay so make sure you do your own research before you start your application if you want to pay this application fee there are actually three methods that is provided for you you can actually pay through a credit card or you can pay through a platform called conveyor or you can pay through pay my tuition okay so make sure you are paying with a valid credit card a credit card that you have access and permission to not someone else credit card please and if you must pay with a credit card i think that's the best way to pay because uh there's no there's no payment delay here uh, compared to when you paid with uh, the conveyor on the conveyor they said you will have to wait for up to 10 business days and if you know how international payments actually work uh, i think all of these payments uh gateway they actually uh make use of 10 days okay max okay so if you are using the uh, conveyor then you might want to wait for 10 days after paying your fee to wait for them to come uh, confirm the payment and if you are using uh, pay my tuition I think the same thing you need to wait if your payment was made more than 10 days ago and is not reflected on your application portal then you might send them email but here it is written you have to wait for 5 to 10 days for it to reflect this application fee is the one you are using to apply for a program not a scholarship okay now let's scroll down to the last part before we now start looking at the scholarship now here it says submit your application 
your application is almost done so you have to submit all your <coughs> all your documents all the document that is listed on the program requirements you must be able to provide it and when you submit your documents then you need to also understand that in most cases you will need to file an official transcript to them okay so there are two major ways where you need to uh, submit your official transcript now you can either submit it through email or by sending it in a mailbox okay like using the delivery uh using the delivery option like sending it through korea uh -huh career services okay so but you can also send it through email in order to be considered official electronic transcript must be sent directly from the email of the office responsible for issuing transcript so they will send it to this place then uh, that is when but you can as well upload your own official transcript as well okay so you can do that then if you want to send it through the mailbox through the courier services then i also want to use this address but as an international student i will advise that you use the email uh, of the international army of the applicant services manitoba.ca okay so that do justice to every information you need to know first now let's go ahead now to other information about this particular school because it is important you know what is available and what program is not available before you actually jump up and go and start your application most time when you come to the uh, program page like this one you are going to see all the list of programs that are actually available so if i scroll down right if i scroll down like this you are going to see all the program that they have these are not available programs these are the list of all the programs that this university offer maybe in the past or in the future okay so these are the list of program that they can offer okay so you can see it here what's this <laughs> they offer a, a course called video <laughs> okay that's 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 good okay so now if you see all of this program you might think that all of them are available not all of this program are actually available okay so i'm going to start from the top let's pick this accounting and use it as an example okay so if i click on that accounting right now you are going to see that this accounting course is actually a four years program which is a very long one this program is going to exhaust you okay so i will not advise that someone even, even go for a four-year program so if you are looking for program look for two years three years program there are actually some of this program that are two years three years program max but most of them are majorly in colleges but some of those uh some of those some of this university actually have three years program okay and you can see it's accredited okay so if you scroll down this is where you now have the program details this is where i expected you to come to come and do justice to every information the program admission requirement everything you need to know is actually on this page but most people they will just say apply where's the apply button please don't do that okay now if you scroll down a little bit you are going to see that here it says the annual application deadline if you want to apply for this accounting program right now it is not possible okay it said admission uh application open early november uh that's the direct entry and advanced entry right and here it says the application deadline is first of march and this one is 15 of march that's for the fall for september most people will say okay continue start application right no you need to check if this program is open or not okay we are not in october right now okay so if you must apply check the program that are available okay so let me use another one and use this as uh, the second case study before we go to the scholarship part okay so this is what i was actually talking about this is a three-year program and uh it's also a bachelor program and i know most people will be interested in the uh, master program so 
make sure you go to the beginning of the video and get uh, intelligence about how you can actually uh, navigate the master program okay so if you scroll down right now you see that this one says application open early October this one open early November this one open early May this one open early September early okay so you see it now if you are going to be studying in January then uh, uh, this direct or advanced entry started application early May and the deadline is October if you are going to start in May then you have application that will open in September and we hand in 1st of February okay the same thing applicable to all of these ones okay that is what you need to know now we all know that University of Manitoba is one of the expensive schools or school in Canada right so if you know you cannot afford this uh, tuition fee at the first place then you might not uh, need to apply okay because if you go to the admission uh let's 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 come to tuition and fee estimate so the estimated fee here is you can see now is nineteen thousand three. here it says be sure also to include your non-university living cost both fixed and very uh fixed and variable in your overall yearly budget okay so as uh, an international student you are looking at 13,000 and if uh, you are looking at the estimated is 22,000 okay so if you know you can't afford this it will be better if you don't apply but if you know you want to apply and uh, go in for the scholarship then you might also want to go in for the scholarship okay now if you look at some of this program some of this program are not av available to international students okay so please check that program before you start the application and before you start selecting program you will see that the program is not actually available okay so uh that's that now let's look at scholarship and financial aid this school have more than one scholarship that is available and uh if you look at it here yeah, this uh are the ones i show you the other day right and if you also come down here you are going to see that they have some more scholarship okay here they have the Badu and Ivory uh, Quinn scholarship the Charlie Bradu the Alan family award the Jeff uh, Kushner the Lambda the Le so they have all of this scholarship available and I think I've made video about this MC Corp band scholarship which I actually apply for someone personally myself okay so uh you can see now that uh this uh i did this video around uh, june or so and if you also want to enjoy this then you might also want to uh, go ahead and watch my video about the mc core mc band scholarship on uh, in that video i show you how you can select some of the university in canada that is participating in this mc core mc band scholarship okay so you might also want to make sure you check other scholarships that are available a lot of scholarships are available at the university of manitoba and if you don't make your own research you will not be able to get the fully funded scholarship to study right so what i'm actually telling you is that fully funded scholarship is possible but when you are not making your own research you are not doing proper justice to the information then you might not be able to get the offer you are actually looking at okay now i hope i've done a lot of justice to this video today and i hope this will give you better understanding about what you need to know and what you need to do actually okay so and also there's something here called the financial award so for those that are going for their uh for those that are going for graduate study there's actually another uh, opportunity for graduate study students okay so if you want to check that out please make sure you do everything on this uh official page okay and if you look at it here it says 30 million dollars value of award given out by university of manitoba each year each year okay so which means 
the offer is there you are the one that need to get your hands on this website and come and do the justice about this okay so if you've not watch uh some of those my video make sure you go back and watch them okay so maybe i will try and do some of all this scholarship uh as well for you to know what uh they actually entail and how university of manitoba is participating with them okay so i hope you get value in today's video and i hope this done justice to every information you are uh, getting or you are waiting to know about this university of manitoba fully funded scholarship remember there's an application fee to the scholarship uh there's an application fee to the uh school uh programs not the scholarship now there's an application fee to the school program which is a 120 application fee that you need to pay okay so please make sure you check very well before you start your application make sure you check very well before you start selecting a program because not all the programs are actually available to international students i hope you get value in today's video and i'm going to catch up with you in another one peace